What's going on everybody and welcome back uh, to the channel now today We've got SRH versus Ch I was about to say the Sunrise Super Kings the Chennai Super Kings Pretty much a comfortable win in the end. I think this is how everyone thought the game was gonna go You know Sunrise has put in a good contest But it's not enough in the end because CSK are top of the table and they are the big dogs to beat this season. Them and Dally are going to be tough. So tough to beat come uh, finals time, well, playoff times. Uh, player of the match, big hoffy boy, Hazelwood, 3 for 24 or 4. I mean, he bowled incredibly well. Super economical. It's probably the best I've seen him bowl in a T20 match for a long, long time. You know, he's he's... He's never been rate. He's such an underrated white ball cricketer. Um, and that's why I'm so happy he's a part of the T20 World Cup for Australia. And he'll play. And he's dominating on these UAE pitches. I'm excited. I think I, I think Australia is going to be underrated um, at the World Cup. Not going to lie. I, don't, I think everyone expects us to lose in the group stages. I think if we make it out of them group stages, we could... Uh, we could cause some upsets. But hey, we're here to talk about Sunrisers v CSK. Let's jump straight into it. Mr. Jason Roy couldn't back up his uh, half century on debut. Um, two off seven. Look, disappointing. Uh, Ridenam Saha. Ridenam Saha. Ridenam Saha. 44 of 46. He is so underrated. Seriously, Saha has to be one of the most underrated cricketers in the world with the bat. I mean, he opens the batting constantly. And he all, you can always bank on Saha to make a 30 or 40 runs. Um, now, he would go to the next level, even at his age. He would go to the next level if that if he could turn these 40s into a 70 and 80. But then again, um, he can't. So that's probably why. Um, Williamson, gone for 11. Priyam Garg, 7. Abhishek Sharma, gone for 18. Abdul Samad, gone for 18. Um... Jason Holder going for five. Rashi Khan, not out on 17. Boovy Kumar, not out for two. Um, I mean, and this thing about Sunrisers is they put in a good fight with the bat, but there's just no one in this middle order. I mean, Priyam Garg, Abhishek Sharma, Adul Samad, with all due respect, are probably the worst middle order in the IPL. Like, <coughs> oh shit. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. I think a fly flew into my mouth, but... Um, with all due respect, you know, these guys are still great cricketers, you know, young, but they are still good, good cricketers. I'm not taking that away from them, but in the IPL, these three are not going to stand up. I mean, you look at CSK's middle order, Suresh Rayner, Dhoni, Jadeja, um, Mo oh, Moen Ali bats at three, so Let, Ali, let's compare middle orders. I'm um, Buddy Raidu, um, I mean, DJ Bravo, I mean, that is such a better middle order than... Holder, Samad, Abhishek, Sharma, and Garg. So, I think I think that's where Sunrisers will be looking um, <clears throat> to bring to bring in a big, uh, you know, player at the auction, someone that can sew up this middle order. I mean, you know, I assume that Rajasthan will probably let Chris Morris go. Um, so maybe you know if they bring in Chris Morris at the auction, um, you know, he and you play him maybe up the order. That's the only one I can think of at the start here. But yeah. A little bit disappointing. The bowlers, Deepak Chaha, none for 32 or 4. Hoffy Hazelwood, the man of the match, 3 for 24 or 4. Lord Takua, 1 for 37 or 4. We've got DJ Bravo, he is still the king, um, 2 for 17 or 4. He gets better with age, this man. I mean, he is still one of the best all rounders in the world, like <laughs> in short form cricket. He is so, so good still. It's incredible. Two for 17 off four. Jadeja, one for 14 off three. And Moe and Ali only bowled the one over, which I thought was surprising, but none for five off one. So, look, it was a galleon effort by Sunrisers, but 134 was never going to be enough. Um, so, Rudaraj Gaikwad, again, he's one of the most underrated cricketers in the world right now in short form cricket. He is so good. Every time I have watched Gaikwad bat this year, he just performs. He, he either, whenever, he is so good. And I, I don't know why no one talks about him or Saha enough. Um, <clears throat> Guykwood is an absolute gun. Um, 
and should be a part of the World Cup squad. Now, I know people will say, we have too many openers, and I think that's the problem with Indian cricket. It's a good problem to have, but they have too many openers. Agarwal, Gill, Darwan, Rohit Sharma, Virat in, in T20. Um, <clears throat> I mean, Saha, Guykwood, um, did I say Gill, Shaw, um, Rahul. <clears throat> they have too many openers, and I think that's where Guykwood and Saha are just unlucky. You know, they play in the right positions, but there's just, you know, you're not going to pick Guykwood ahead of Rohit Sharma. So, yeah. Faf, again, nice, solid opening partnership. 41, Ali with a nice little peach there from Rashid Khan. Going for 17. Rainer going for 2. Um, Butty Raidu, not out for 17. And MS Dhoni, the first time he has passed 10 runs, I believe, this season, which is crazy to think that it's taken this long for Dhoni to pass. I think it was actually the first time he has passed the 10 run mark this season. That is nuts to think that Dhoni has only passed 10 runs now once. But, you know, good on him. Not out. Maybe maybe Dhoni is just getting some form and he's going to be big in the finals for CSK in the playoffs. So, you know, you can never you can never rule out MS Dhoni. Doesn't matter how old he is. He is still dangerous. Um, Sandeep Sharma, none for 18 off tree. Booby Kumar... Yeah, not great. None for 34 or 4. Jason Holder, um, 3 for 27 or 4. Rashid Khan, 1 for 27 or 4. Siddharth Cool, none for 24 off 2.4. And Abhishek Sharma, none for 9 off 2. So, well, probably pretty comfortably in the end there from CSK. Let's jump to the table. I know all you CSK fans love to see the table at the moment. You guys are on top. You are on top by one win. Incredible. CSK, DC, RCB, Kolkata, Mumbai, Punjab, <laughs> Rajasthan, and Sunrisers. <laughs> I guess we'll mention Sunrisers. I had a few comments that said that I, I keep going past Sunrisers, like I don't even mention they're there. So, Sunrisers, they're there. <laughs> they're there. Um, the runs, look, nothing's really changed there. Faf, I mean, he's still in fifth, uh, third. Uh, Rudaraj. I mean, this is still up for anyone's game to win. That's the close thing about the purple, uh, the orange cap. But uh, look, the purple cap's over. Harshal Patel is going to win that. Incredible. Um, is there anything worth looking at here? Judas is averaging 59 with the bat. Goodness me. Um, most hundreds. Uh, no one's had 200s this year. Faf's had 450s this year. Holy shit. Most econ Yeah, Tahir didn't play, which I thought surpri was surprising. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Faf's hit the second amount of sixes. Okay, so hey, that is going to cap it off. The next match um, is the Punjab Kings versus Kolkata. Now, excited, but if we lose, I might cry. So hey, that is going to cap it off, guys. Shout out to CSK. You guys officially qualify for the playoffs. You are looking like the best side in the league. So hey, that is going to cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.